Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we will solve one more sum that is based on impulse invariance method. So, we will see the question. The question is, find the digital filter transfer function by applying impulse invariance transformation, where the function is h of s is equal to s upon s square plus 3s plus 2. We also write the basic definition on how to apply the impulse invariance method. Now we have to apply uh, the partial fraction expansion method. So let us solve that. H of s, here we can see the roots are 1 and 2. So it can be expressed as s square plus 1s plus 2s plus 2. So it can be written as s upon s plus 1 into s plus 2. We finally get the same term after multiplying. Now again we will use the same method of partial fraction. That is a upon s plus 1 plus b upon s plus 2. Now we will cross multiply and equate we finally get as a into s plus 2 plus b into s plus 1 is equal to s. Now we will write it as when s is equal to minus 2 then minus 2 plus 1 is minus b and is equal to minus 2. So b is equal to 2 and when s is equal to minus 1 then a is equal to minus 1. So finally, due to this equation, we get the terms as h of s is equal to minus 1 upon s plus 1 plus 2 upon s plus 2. So the transformation equation is this. We will use this equation to perform the impulse invariance transformation. Here, the frequency is 1, that is k samples per second. So 1k samples is equal to 1000 samples per second. So t is equal to 1 upon 1000 that will be equal to 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. Now we'll apply this formula and we know that the pole value is minus 1 here and in this case it is minus 2. So after applying this method we will get this term such as 1 upon s plus 1 can be expressed as 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 into z raised to minus 1. Writing the value of exponential term, we finally get 1 upon 1 minus 0.999 z raised to minus 1. 1 upon s plus 2 is given by 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 z raised to minus 1. That is 1 upon 1 minus 0.998 z raised to minus 1. So the transfer function can again be written by the same formula that is summation k is equal to 1 and a k upon 1 minus e raised to p k t into s so it will be given as h of z is equal to a1 upon 1 minus 0.999 z raised to minus 1 plus a2 upon 1 minus 0.998 z raised to minus 2 we know the values which have found out that is a and b that is minus 1 and 2 so we'll write again that is minus 1 upon 1 minus 0.999 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 upon 1 minus 0.998 z raised to minus 1. This is the final answer. We can simplify much more further these values. So it is optional. Thank you.